What's up? It's Ashley from Bacolics Anonymous, and this is my February TBR. <clears throat> I went a little ambitious because I wanted to get it to fit in my challenges, but I also wanted to read stories set around love. So, yeah, I probably won't read all these, but they're there just in case. <clears throat> With that being said, I will do uh, my challenge once first. <clears throat> so for this year I was doing the 12 books by 12 friends in 12 months challenge and for this month someone recommended reading <clears throat> Jade City by Fonda Lee. So I'm actually listening to it on audio. Um, I'm not really enjoying it right now, so I don't know if I'll continue. I think I'm like halfway through. So yeah, we'll see about that. I don't know. <clears throat> the next one is the Buzzwordathon, and the buzzwords for this month are words like me, you, he, she, her, him, we, that type of thing. For that I have two choices because you know we like our choices so and they're both books I want to read um so the first one I picked was four days of you and me by Miranda Kinley this is a maybe I don't know the next book is you will be mine by Natasha Preston which I for sure want to read this so this might count towards that I don't know but it's it just sounds cool. Like the back of it says, love turns deadly, roses are red, violets are blue, watch your back, I'm coming for you. And then like the very last like line talks about someone getting a note addressed to them and a secret admirer or something like that. But this person who gets this note never comes home. And a new note arrives and it just sounds freaking awesome like her books are some of the messed up most messed up books I've read so there's that the next challenge is the TPR knockout by Melanie at completely Melanie and for that for February there is read a short story collection and read a short book so for short story collection at first, I was thinking of going with A Tyranny of Petticoats because it's an audiobook that I can listen to. But then I was going through my books and I came upon this one together apart <clears throat> that was gifted to me. And it's a bunch of um, a bunch bunch of different authors. I don't know a whole lot of them. It does have Natasha Preston in it. Um, it does have Aaron Craig, which is the author of House of Salt and Sorrow, but it just, the tag up here says, love always finds a way. So, and it's only, like, about 250 something pages, so it's short, but yeah, that's another choice for that. And then... <clears throat> the next challenge for that one is a short book which is 250 pages or less so for that I went I think these are yeah for that one I went with Come Tumbling Down by Shauna McGuire this is either the 5th or the 6th book in the Wayward Children's series and it's about 200 pages and I adore these stories so there's that <clears throat> I think those are all of the challenges so with all the challenges out of the way I'll get into what I kind of 
what other things I kind of want to read. Who knows? We'll see. So the first one, I am finishing up The Queen of Nothing in the next day or so. So there's that. The next one. Um, is is it gonna show the actual oh, okay is all the feels by Olivia Tate this is like the companion novel to spoiler alert which I adore that's so amazing so I do have it on my Kindle so we'll check that out The next couple are just ones that seem kind of romancy to me, um, which is the Bromance Book Club. Come on now. Maybe. The next one is The Perfect Date, which just sounds fun. And romantic and then of course the next book is I don't even know if this is like a romance or not but this is Casey West so we're gonna go with it it is moment of truth this is like I think it's this is the second to last book of hers that I have not read and I love all her books and all her characters and yeah and this was sent to me or gifted to me by somebody so like just today I opened it so hopefully I will actually get to this one we'll see but yeah those are the books that I want to read for February so <clears throat> So we'll see, you know, it doesn't always work, but and I will see you guys next month, hopefully. Bye.